It's Tom Meyer, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this month's uh, Comet Highlights, the Believe in the Blue Comet Highlights, uh, kind of emphasizing some things that happened at a recent board meeting on Monday night, November 13th. I'll start off with just talking, we had some open enrollments approved, and all this information is online. Just go to our website. There's a, as you scroll down the front page, there's a small section you click on called Comet Highlights. It'll open up all the Comet Highlights over the last several years that way. And you'll be able to uh, click in this. This document is actually about 40 pages long or maybe a little longer, actually. But just so you know, it is there. So we did approve some open enrollments. We also has has it had a resignation from Jeff Kilberg, who is our uh, one of our custodians. And I want to thank Jeff for all of his years of service here. He accepted another position. But Jeff has been a great employee here and want to thank him for that. Also had two new hires, Jeff Raker, a middle school, high school principal, is now a middle school wrestling coach as well. And then Mark Rune, our one of our teachers for PE and health, is also going to be our uh, bowling coach that way. One of the major things that happen as we progress, pr uh, progress through our Bellevue Elementary building construction for grades three through five, we sold bonds on Monday. The board accepted those. We have a very good interest rate for for the way things are economically at 4.255%. And that was lower than uh, we anticipated, lower than our experts anticipated. And that's great news to have that happen. Uh, payment plan is over 20 years. Some things with that that you will see in the near future. Yeah, you may have saw people out there out there drilling a well for geothermal and also do, doing some soil borings. You will notice uh, some construction happening out there, hopefully in March of 2024, after we send out for bids in January 2024, and then get those bids back in February and accept them, hopefully, and moving forward. Then the building will open for students in August of 2025. Uh, so something big to look forward to, and we're looking forward to getting that process going even further and progressing through over the next several months, obviously. I gave a little projection on enrollment. Uh, just a brief overview enrollment, our enrollment this year, resident students was down about seven or eight students. Overall, people attending school here was actually up about nine students. So financially, we're going to be relatively the same as last year, which is good for our district as a whole. We always want an increasing enrollment um, and we feel confident with where we're at and the way the future looks as well. Uh, that also had a part to do with our bond rating. Our bond rating in the district is, in, is a double A minus which only about 20 to 25 schools in the state of Iowa have that rating, which is the highest rating we can get in the state of Iowa. Uh, so that's a positive. That shows that we're strong financially as a district in the community and beyond. Uh, so that's a really good thing for all of us to recognize that we have a very strong bond rating from the S&P uh, Global Rating System. Uh, had some other facility updates too you can read about in the notes, talk about geothermal wells, soil borings. We also talk about future wants and needs for our facilities. Uh, for our students that way, for, for transportation, just a bunch of different things listed there. We also approved a policy for, it's a model policy for discipline from the state of Iowa, the Iowa Department of Education we needed to adopt. Nothing major in there, nothing different than what we're already doing, but just a, a, a policy matter that we uh, were required to take and put into exact policy. Um, we also had a comment reading and reflection on, on books and what books can provide to students overall. We had some legislative information from the Rural School Advocates of Iowa talking about um, uh, some priorities they see for the upcoming year, some of those being state supplemental aid, uh, open enrollment, having a deadline on that. Some districts would like that. Uh, some other districts have talked about the AEA, the, the Area Education Agency and the services they're providing. You can read more online about that. I do want to highlight one part of the notes. It's several pages long. It's the Bellevue High School 2022-2023. That's last school, year, school year's concurrent enrollment and the amount of students and the type of classes uh, that our students are taking through the Eastern Iowa Community College District our numbers are as high percentage-wise as any school in the community college district. You will find a variety of classes, and they really transfer whether they're going to a four-year school or a two-year school. Uh, some may think, well, you're going to two-year school, you don't need to take these. Well, no, you take these even if you're going into the trades, uh, plumbing, welding, electrical, whatever. There are still classes that we offer here through online. And sometimes those are in, in conjunction with another teacher here that students can gain before they go to the community college. And I just want to emphasize that to everyone. 
We also talked about our state performance state performance profile from last school year based on a lot of different categories. Part of those categories are our scores in English language arts, mathematics, and science. Also look at graduation rate, post-secondary readiness on ACT, and beyond. There's a multitude of things there. Our elementary was recognized as a commendable school, and our middle school high school is recognized as acceptable or highly acceptable. There are, we, um, there are six different categories, exceptional, high-performing, commendable, acceptable, needs improvement, and priority and comprehensive. Feel good about where we're at as a whole. Also, I mentioned to the board, uh, the midterm superintendent review to have that in January for my position that way. And I also shared with the board some other documents on uh, board duties and superintendent duties, administrative duties, and on down the line. Our next regular board meetings is on December 11th. We do have a special board meeting on December 4th to approve some assurances for the bonds before that money actually comes through. And that's $10 million or roughly not quite $10 million of bank qualified loans. Yes, our bond issues for 13.1 million based on the way interest rates are and the process that's used, we will go out for the other $3 million uh, approximately in the next uh, six to 18 months. Uh, so you know that. Uh, but that is all I have. If you have any questions, please let us know. Remember, we have a Thanksgiving break coming up after Tuesday next week. Uh, enjoy that time away. And then we'll have our winter break coming up in December. Our last day of school for students there is going to be on December 20th. And then we have break through January 4th for students. Students will return on January 4th. Have a great one. Also check out the, the comment, uh, the weekly comment that comes out each week uh, to, to people uh, are on email to our parents, but also is posted online, put on social media on and many other ways it's out there. So have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the weather while it lasts.